know if you can see me and hear me and all that good stuff. We'll get started doing the last little things I have to do for the day. Good to see everybody. Hey there, Beth and Amber, Mama13, Colsoy. <sighs> well, I suppose I can kind of get started here. That is, if you guys can see me. Oh, yeah, you can. Hey there, Peyton is awesome. Brittany. Yep, got all kinds of eggs here. I actually, just while I was getting the stream going and the next batch of Jello eggs are done, I'm going to have to do that real fast. You guys are going to have to hang out with me while I do that. Yep, yeah, we are going to hide them. Are definitely going to hide them. I'll be right back. Give me just a second here. light it's better on or off it's a little too bright I think is that better or worse got a big old blinding spot on my forehead it's because of the light adjustments it's not because I got a huge forehead although I do how many are we doing well I try to do as many as I can Bring the molds back for the jello molds. Yeah, I know they're hard to get, hard to find. They used to have knockoff Chinese ones for a while, but you don't even see those anymore. Yep, the jello eggs. These ones are watermelon. Those are Eden's favorite. beans ready <sighs> thank you for sending these the extra jello trays I only end up using one of them they don't have to set very long so these are just little little mini ones These are orange. Hey, they're living for Jesus. Nice name. Do the kids eat the jello weights? Oh, yeah, they love them. They love them. This is watermelon Jolly, Jolly Rancher jello, too. So, this is watermelon Jolly Rancher jello. Been doing these all day. We dyed Easter eggs. Which, you know, when you have nine kids, it's an ordeal to get Easter eggs dyed. Usually, I do one too, but I didn't do any today. Usually, Andrea sets up the dyeing the Easter eggs, and I get to sit down like I'm a kid. How terrible was that of me? It was just like one of the kids making a mess, getting out stuff she didn't intend to make weird eggs. Now that the kid's doing it to me, going out in the yard picking grass and camouflaging their eggs. Ridiculous. 
Hey there, Jen. How much have you missed? No, we just started, Lucy Dog. You're just in time. I actually haven't stuffed any eggs yet because my Jello timers all got done, and they're every two and a half hours, so I don't get to do very many batches. If I, it's pretty late now, but I'll probably relax and just watch some TV or play some games for a while. So maybe I can get one more batch put in before the morning. So then I'll have a total of five Jello eggs, six each, so 30 eggs, plus the Jello beans. I make so many jello beans, people end up spooning these into their bowl like it's a bowl of jello. I could have just made regular jello at that point. Well, thank you, Alan. I am doing them now. I always think of Andrea on the orange. Orange jello was Andrea's favorite. Especially if it had like mandarin oranges floating in it. She loved that the best. But. I don't. Orange is a waste of jello. I think we actually have this jello down there because Andrea bought it. Every new Easter outfits? Oh my gosh, yes. I did get them Easter outfits, but I haven't given them to them. We got time. We're not meeting our Easter celebration until like 1 30, but we still have church in the morning. I'm so tired. It's been a long day. It's been non-stop the whole day. I decided to do a uh, uh, a dessert with the girls. My girlfriend was doing a, this dessert that she saw, and I, I said, oh, I want to do that. And so we, me and the girls did it. And uh, it's really cute. It's a trifle with uh, jello or a pudding and layers of cake and whipped cream. Jello beans are a lot of work, they really are. Yeah, take them out one at a time. There's the orange. These ones are sour green apple. Hey there, Julie. It has been a good day. The kids had fun. They enjoyed it. I, I did with the girls. I got them went and get all their, uh, you know, their aprons on, and they got all their cooking gear. Uh, Sophia came out with a chef's hat and a, a animal uh, apron and little. She had gloves like for taking pot warmers. She's wearing these pot warmers like they're gloves or uh, you know, for taking pots out, hot pads and uh, a little whisk in her hand and so they all I let them basically make it which of course makes the whole dessert ten times harder but I got some footage I got some video so I'm gonna vlog it all for you guys I anticipated on just getting or getting it even edited tonight and then get it up tomorrow and so Easter prep you could at least have it kind of related to Easter but I'm so tired right now I don't think it's probably gonna get up right away but hey there Hilda Patricia and it's so windy. You guys hear that? The wind, the lights are flickering on and off every now and then too. The wind's really blowing tonight. Yeah, it was good memories. They really liked it. Oh, cute. Took all day. Yeah, it is all day. Thank you, Lisa. I do enjoy my special friend. She's amazing. Very blessed. I'll be really glad when this day is over. I always feel so guilty that I thought it was so hard before when Andrea was alive. Do it by yourself is ten times harder. And other people have it harder than me. Yeah, I have a big family, and so, you know, stuffing eggs or dying eggs is a little bit bigger ordeal, but. I have bigger kids that can help, and so the uh, other people who have younger kids who are single, that's hard. Yes, I see you, Midnight Blue. You're not banned. Oh, 
Oh, thank you, Brooke. I actually think I'm going to move these to another container. I The dessert, I was going to just, I'm a little worried about transporting it that I made with the girls. So we were either going to eat it ourselves or I was going to bring it to Easter. I think I decided to bring it to Easter so everybody can have it. And uh, it has a little stand underneath it that I could put these jello eggs, jello beans in. Teenagers are such a help. I always said that, I mean, me and Andrew both said, having three was the most difficult, having three kids. By the time you have the fourth one, your third one's old enough to help, at least somewhat. Help the little ones put their coat on or socks on, and then pretty soon they're really helpful. That one I, that one was smashed. You guys want to see the dessert we made with the girls? It has a little stand on it. I can show you that. So this is a little stand. I thought I could put the jello beans in there. It could have been better. So it's a trifle. I don't know if you can see it, but it. Got a little bird nest with robin eggs in there. And it's got layers of cake. It's got funfetti cake with cheesecake jello and whipped cream. Angel food cake. More cheesecake jello, whipped cream, and the sprinkles on top. Pretty fun. Craft sewing, which is a kit with good both. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, I hear you, Lisa. That's okay. Yeah, it came out pretty good. The girls all made it. It was really cute. But now I gotta make the last little couple batches of Joe eggs. Okay, I'm sorry you guys have to see me do this now. I was meaning to get this done earlier, but it the time redeemed while I was doing it. So that was those eggs were what kind were they? They were watermelon. So I need to put some some cherry in there. Thank you, Shelly. doing anybody but well, the wind chimes are really pretty out there six grandkids their father passed away four years ago oh man there's a great divide between my children you know I, I understand that completely understand it no that's sad so sorry Beth
Tomorrow will be the first time we'll be together at my house since then. Oh, I guess that's a good thing. Well, this is Cherry Jolly Rancher Jello. Trans went crazy. Oh, that's interesting. I did a don't know. Uh, great catch. Oh, thank you, Lisa. I put an extra packet of gelatin in there. I used to have a giant bag of gelatin that Andrea bought that uh, I still been using for many years. Can't find it now. I feel like Thomas threw it away. I had him organize Mills Market. And he wouldn't know where to put it. Brady threw it away. What is the big gold egg? So, funny story with the gold egg. We always have a gold egg, you know, with uh, that has money in it. That's, we, we hide really hard. And so, uh, that's, and that's always fun. Um, but in other years, later years, we started. I started to feel bad that the little kids were never had, had no chance of getting the gold egg. So then I started getting golden eggs in each of their colors. These are the girl golden eggs this year. This is the boy golden eggs this year. We put money in them or something and hide them a little harder and that way they can all find their own color and then we still ended up putting one golden egg out this year when i bought all the easter stuff thomas came with me you know thomas means weird stuff ends up in the cart basically and i, I said look at that golden egg and he just grabbed it he put it in the cart and he says i'll buy it and i was like oh i mean if you think we should get it i'll buy it and he's like no we need to have that and i was like i don't know how are you gonna hide this no one's gonna see it and especially where we're going there's not many other places to hide something like this Oh, we need to have it, we need to have it, we need to have it. So now we got this giant golden egg. I don't know what I'm going to put in it. And uh, we're going to hide it, so. Chocolate Easter egg the last couple days. There's vegetarian gelatin. Focus to do this without spilling it. Oh, thank you guys. I'm happy the day's almost over. Mostly vegan, but Jell's where I draw the line. You mean you meaning you eat Jello? It's good for you. I understand being more vegetarian for getting good amount of veggies. Ah, you know what? I'm just gonna be quiet. Just gonna be quiet.
did I not make enough? Usually I have too much. Oh well. Throw in a little bit extra water in that one. See if it comes out. Sorry world, Alexa. Two and a half hour Jello egg timer. Jello egg timer. Two hours and thirty minutes. Starting now. I think I'm done making jello beans. I'm a little tired. Maybe I'll even bash before bed. I need a drink of water. Agar, agar, huh? Texture's very different. Interesting. Kitchen dress repainted brown, or is that just the lighting in the house tonight? No, no, it's just the lighting. Um, it's still maroon. That's the Jello brand mold. I have a Chinese one in the attic that I think actually worked better, but I haven't been able to find it. The attic's a mess, and don't know where it's at. So, all right, so let's get started here. So the girls' eggs are these cute plaid eggs. So obviously you're not going to be able to find light and dark. Good night, living for Jesus. Have a good night. I'm a night owl too. Oh, it's very windy right now, but cold. It's pretty cold outside. I said it's 18 degrees. Do you drink your sink water? No, I do not. I'm kind of a water snob. I only drink distilled water. Um, oh, I'm so sorry, sister in Christ. I pray your family handles it well and she goes painlessly. Sometimes it's just nice for it to be over, you know? Alright, so candy-wise... We've got this mix with Sour Bright Collars, Lemon Heads, Sour Bites, Fruits, Trolley Stuff, and Nerds. I got Krabby Patties. I got some Robin Eggs. I got this Ferro Rocher because I think it maybe it can survive the chocolate. Every time I put chocolate in the eggs, they melt. They hide them outside. Jelly Rancher eggs. Yeah, I did, actually. I, I just finished doing that just a little while ago. My mom's doing pretty good. She's uh, having some chest pain still, but uh, she's getting it figured out, I guess. But you can certainly pray for her. Uh, is this all the candy I got? Felt like there was more candy than that. I guess this is enough. So that, I guess let's do the Krabby Patties first. Krabby Patties are the best. 18, it is cold, yeah. And it's windy too. He's to really turned his bed on. Sorry, Terry. I gotta make sure I get the same amount of. Krabby Patties for each person. I also just go through them like this. So. Oh man, these ones open sideways. Am I gonna be able to get them in there? Who puts their eggs lengthwise like that? Everybody else ready for Easter? Who's, who's still doing Easter stuff here? And still hanging out at the same time. That's, that's a trooper. You don't have to be, obviously. If you're not, you're not.
<laughs> hurt your teeth? I love Krabby Patties, man. Why can't I get this to work? What's wrong with this egg? I have a feeling this is not going to go well. You know what? I might need a, I might need some good old tape. Some of these eggs. Where's Chinese quality gone these days? Oh, this one popped open. I might have to tape them all. Didn't realize Andy should do monthly shopping on her own. Yeah, Andrea always did the monthly shopping on her own. Um, it wasn't until, hmm, was it Claudia? Uh, she got pregnant with Claudia, I think. Is it Claudia? It wasn't Hannah. Maybe. Mm. It must have been Claudia. And uh, she had a hard time going by herself. She could barely make it. And so she asked me to go with her. And she used to like to go by herself. In fact, even though she liked going with me, she did miss also going by herself. Because that was her time to get away you know, when you're a mom of a big family, you just need to get away sometimes. Not that she needs to get away from me, but just be alone. And so that was her time to be alone. And so she really liked going shopping with me, but then she would sometimes go shopping on her own just to be alone sometimes. They take the patties out of the wrapper. Yeah, but Krabby Patties dry out pretty darn fast. So <clears throat> still have some food prep to get done. Oh, I got to get, I forgot, I got to put the... Uh, bread rolls in the fridge so they can start proofing. Hey there, Ann. Glad you could make it. Oh, thank you, Colby. Well, we ended up Sometimes on our date night, we would end up doing the shopping together. That happened randomly on occasion because uh, we'd go out, we'd go out to eat, maybe we'd go find something else to do. And then suddenly we'd get nothing to do, which is something to do my shopping. I'm like, you want to go do that? I'm like, she said, sure. And so we do that sometimes. But No, she does. I mean, I don't know if she needed to get away from me, but she did like to be on her own. She always said, and she told me outright, you know, that she loves going with me, but sometimes she just likes to get away on her own. And so she kind of, I like going with you, but I kind of miss shopping on my own too. So, and I understood that. I got it. But then everybody started liking it a lot when we went together. There's something about it. <laughs> oh, I'm glad, Cricket Girl. It's also nice to have company when I'm doing it. It's been a long day, and honestly, nights like this is what it's the hardest. I don't like it when I can hear myself think and I'm alone. I hate it. Of course, thankfully, I have a large family, and I'm a busy guy, so I don't. that doesn't happen very often. But when it does, it's not very fun. When I go to bed at night, it's not fun. When there's times like this, when I have nothing, to, nothing else. Rogers in my lungs in October. Multiply now are in both lungs. Going to a pulmonologist. My mom had the same thing. Um, now they're not in her lungs. They're around them or something. But it's something like now your kids are asleep. You always talk about them as a parent thing. It's always on our minds. Yeah, I know, right? I'd be lost without my kids. Hannah's so sweet to me. She'll just come up and hug me or love, you know, I'll be in my office and she'll just open the door. And I'll like, what do you need, baby girl? She'll come in and she'll say, I love you, dad. Kiss you. Then she'll leave. That's all I need. I just need to give you a kiss.
Popcorn pretzels and Easter sprinkles. That sounds good. I'm gonna, try, I'm gonna eat this Krabby Patty right here. Krabby Patties are amazing. Am I right? They don't have these like in the UK or Australia. They just have them in the US. I don't care about SpongeBob, but these, this is the most tasty candy. The texture is unlike anything I've ever had before. See you, Joanne's. Joanne. Don't have them. Okay. Well, probably order them on Amazon. So amazing. Oh. Yeah, these are just the girls' eggs. I think I'm okay still. I think I'm okay still. Thanks for that, though. You think Eden looks like Andrea? I have a hard time seeing Andrea in the girls. Or really in anybody. Obviously, there's some features that take after her. In each of the kids. Hannah reminds me the most of Andrea. But I think it's because of her hair. Her hair is spooky like Andrea's. I better do the boys a boys round of eggs. Hold on a second. Did I need all the girls' eggs? Oh gosh. I should have thought about it. So Eden, Sophia, Claudia, Hannah. So yellow, blue, purple, pink. I don't need orange or green. Yellow, blue purple, pink. Alright. I'm glad someone said something. Props to you, whoever that was. Hey, then my family's my world. Grad school. Oh, man. That's, that's a lot of work. Real smiles remind me of Andrea. Yeah. Uh, I think Claudia's mouth is kind of like Andrea's. Parts of Asher I can see Andrea in. Personality wise, especially. But it's just pieces. Asher's got a lot of my personality, got a lot of Andrea's, and he's got his own. Does Solly get green plaid eggs? No, he just gets green eggs. So the plaids are the girls, right? Boys don't want plaid eggs. So the plaid are the girls, and the solid colors are the boys. Hey, Kathy Curtis. Glad you can make it. We can see you do those. Ah, they wouldn't care. Although they are, they wouldn't do that, I don't think. They don't want to ruin their surprises. It's not our style. I can leave all the presents in a box. It's not even taped shut out here if I had presents like for Christmas and none of the kids would get into it. Hey there, Grammy. It was you. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Lizzie. I'm just kind of in robot mode tonight. I'm tired. I got up early.
Well, I should put the Ferro Rocher things. How do you say that? Somebody from Canada knows French stuff. Tell me. I, I've been seeing those my whole life, and I love them. But I don't know how you actually say them. Ferrero Rocher. Is that it? It's French, right? Wait, 399 eggs, what are you doing? Man, they got more than I do. You gotta do an Easter egg hunt for a, a small town? You didn't want me to snoop and find out my gifts from my husband? <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, would I like that? Part of me thinks I would like that, and part of me thinks I would hate it. That happened. I don't know what my girlfriend would do. Something I've ever asked her about. We'll have to ask her that tomorrow. What do you do for Easter? Easter is a pretty laid back affair. We had Easter at our house lots of years, but lately it's just been at uh, one of the sister in law's house, so it probably less of how it'll be for the rest of our lives, probably. So I get to be more of a participant, which I don't mind. But we usually, uh, I gotta make sure these ones. Thomas, Asher, Judah, Justice. Don't need the yellows. Um, usually go out there and um, hide eggs. They usually have a barbecue and uh, a bunch of food. We just hang out, eat food and barbecue and that's about it, so. You say Fair Rocher. Fair Rocher. Okay. That might be right. Like color for kids? Yeah, they're for color for kids. For our, they're for, uh, everybody has, does, brings eggs for their own kids and they hide them. It used to be we just did a big old thing, but you know how that happens. We get the big kids that have 50,000 eggs and little kids who they get like two and then we all feel bad. And so now you only can find your color eggs. And that works out really good. You didn't tell me, uh, how do you say your name? A Raceley? Uh, why are you having to do 399 eggs? I'm more than curious about that. Kids front lawn time hiding eggs and calling, calling, Egging their house. Hiding eggs and calling egging their house. Oh, they're calling it egging their house. I see. I was like, boy, they're hiding eggs and then they egg their house? That's weird. You have special eggs worth money? Yeah, we got us some gold ones that are worth, we have money in. That we always hide a little bit harder. Time is it here? It is almost 10 o'clock. I'm so tired though. It feels like it's been so much longer since then. Longer than that. These ones don't need to be taped. Hundred and fifty eggs full of candy, eleven golden eggs filled with money. That's probably more close to what I'm doing. I have a dozen for each kid. So what is that? Uh, Ninety something. Why am I opening a Krabby Patty? Oh well, okay. can't go to waste now. What colors the rest of the family use? I'm not sure, but the eggs are usually a different variety or brand. So, well, I opened another one. Open the eggs, not the Krabby Patties. Oh. I'm getting backwards. Ah, grape. Why is grape candy a flavor? Seriously. I 
Absolutely. I hear you, Lisa. I I getting I'm getting confused. I'm tired. The worst thing that happens, I have to eat some Krabby Patties. That's not the end of the world. That's a lot of Krabby Patties, though. I've really cut back on sugar. My A1C was, I think it was 5.2 or 5.1. It's pretty reasonable. I love Krabby Patties. They're my favorite, one of my, my favorite gummies. And I'm a gummy person. Gummy's my favorite kind of candy. And Krabby Patty makes the best gummy. It's some sort of odd mixture between... It's not marshmallow, but it must have marshmallow in it. So it's a silky smooth texture. Great candy's the best. And you can throw away all the grape, lemons, and oranges. Whenever I get a bag of gummy bears, Andrew will eat all my yellows, oranges, and purple ones. And my new girlfriend's not into candy. So they're just going to go to waste. Give them to the kids. excited to catch you live. Oh, I'm glad you could, Tam Tam. Yeah, I always like doing a live at a different time every now and then, the late ones, because we get a lot of people who don't get a chance to catch them any other time. The giant gold egg. Well, that's that exists because of Thomas. We were shopping for Easter stuff. Thomas just had to get it. We always have a, a golden egg, and I got a golden egg, but it's actually right here. But he saw that and he had to put it in the cart. And none of my kids ever threw stuff in the cart like that. But now that my, he has his own job, he can say, I'll buy it. I'll buy it. But then he knows I'll just buy it anyways. Or maybe he doesn't know that. I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do with it. We're going to have to bury it. That's actually my plan is to dig a hole. We'll leave a tiny little bit poking up. Are you kind of at the pool? Well, that's fun. It has like waterproof eggs or something that didn't make a difference. Are the golden eggs in the chicken coop? Oh, they have a chicken coop there, but I don't think we're allowed to go in there, so I don't think that's probably going to happen. I'm just going to keep getting rid of the rest of these Krabby Patties. I think that there's some um, other eggs, nested eggs inside of there. So how many do I got? So, I mean, one more of each in the girls. Yeah, they don't ever have red. You never see red eggs. So, the pink ones are for Judah. That's just how it has to be. Don't need the greens or the oranges. So I'll do one of each. Some treasure from your game prize box in the big. That's actually what I did, Must Love Dogs. I went actually, uh, I went over and looked earlier and saw if there was worthy stuff in there to put in there. I looked through it and I saw some stuff there and I didn't want to get it away. A lot of times it's one of the other bigger kids. I think some of the parents tip off some of the kids of where the gold egg is. I think I'll just put whatever leftover candy I have and throw it all in that egg and let them have a diabetic coma.
You might have to go shopping together, but yes, alone is nice, but I miss them all. Oh, I know it. I hear you. treasure. <laughs> hide and know where the golden egg is well we have so many eggs to hide we have all of these plus the ones for the, the other kids family and I we also died a lot of eggs today we died four dozen eggs so each of the kids could die five eggs each and uh, we'll hide those too we usually say anybody can find those and uh, so if it was just one person hiding of course the gold eggs too but I think that there's actually some parents that are there that uh, that are looking to try to try to see where they're at I don't know well the kids some of the kids have told me that that was the case I may be wrong Packet of ramen. Ooh, that might be fun, actually. You could totally get a box of thing of ramen in there. <laughs> I'm totally doing that. Okay, well, these leftover Krabby Patties are going to go to the gold egg or to Daddy. What food are we bringing tomorrow? I'm bringing rolls. I'm bringing... One, two, three, four, five, six dozen Rhodes, Texas rolls, Jello eggs, Jello beans, and the, the Easter trifle. Bunch of sugar. I love baking. I love to make things for people and then say, oh my gosh, this is so good. That gives me such pleasure, to making yummy treats for people. Uh, okay, next. I think I'm gonna take another get another Walmart sack. You guys ever have robin eggs? They're basically whoppers, malted balls. I put some, put a couple under the little bird nest that I put in that trifle you saw earlier if you happen to be watching. Special friends Easter, so we don't need a wine and beer and grand prizes a bottle. <laughs> that's awesome. Jello eggs hard to make. I don't know if that's that good. Patron F7. I don't know. I've never drank before. I don't know. Nothing wrong with drinking, but I just haven't. Okay. So let's put a, I don't know, three robin eggs in an egg. Maybe four? Why not four? Love Robin Hanks. <laughs> mm. Pop tarts. Oh, that'd be so fun. You guys are giving me some good ideas. That would be a total surprise. You'd be like, oh, Pop Tarts and Robin? Score! <laughs> And of course, if one of the other family's kids get it, they'll be like, what the heck is this? That's no treasure. This is 
going faster than I thought it would. And the snacks for the rest of the fan that does it, don't lie. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, I have some creepy eggs, yes, I have some creepy eggs, uh, Judah's, I mean, I, I should just show you guys. <sighs> this is one Solly did and Judah did one, Judah did one and then Solly copied it, so... It's all wrapped up in grass. They think that's going to be easy to hide. They think that's hilarious. Um, this is one Hannah made she was so proud of. It's so cute. What else we got here? Some of these are fun, you guys may recognize. Here's a creepy Ronald McDonald that Asher made, of course. Among Us. This one's covered in dirt. So they kind of got creative this year, so. I could show you a whole bunch more, but uh, it does look like a little Humpty Dumpty. It's just so cute. Ouch. Let me get my sock. Okay. Um, one of each of the robin eggs. I think I want to skip some of the robin eggs and go to the what they would consider the good stuff. Documenting these on video. Oh, yeah. I, actually, that's a good idea. so hard to open. Okay. I was thinking too, it's either the girls in their room or it's the wind. Did you guys hear that? It's funny the kind of noises you guys can pick up that are so subtle and the noises that some noises that are louder you guys can't hear. Seems like a waste of eggs if they're not going to eat them. I know. I know it is. Especially now. Thomas says there's a giant egg shortage. They had to kill, apparently they've had to kill more eggs, more chickens because of bird flu than like in the history of the world or something. Uh, so these are little mini crawlers. Can I get them in here? Oh, I can. Oh, which one I need, I need to take out? Yellow. Yellow for the girls. And then orange. Green is their boys. I hear a bunch of girls giggling in there too, so now I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure I'm going to get these things in these smaller Chinese things. Uh, these are all Chinese, but these stupid side load 
eggs. Maybe I will. Oh, that worked okay. Actually, better than the Krabby Patty. Still putting a piece of tape on it. Do you do baskets for the kids? No, we don't. But that may be something we switch to uh, at some point. I thought about doing them. But we never did that. It's just not something we ever did. We, uh, I don't know. You can buy your kids too many things. Not that Easter is a special thing, but we don't have lots of room for lots of toys. And, you know, I don't know. It's probably something I'll start doing at some point. But we always just did the candy and uh, jello eggs type thing. And they've, they've been happy with that. You know, they don't know any better. This is all what they have, you know. How many are you doing? Oh, no, I haven't answered that. Well, this one's got a lot of air in it. I'm going to have to pop it. There we go. Um, 12 per kid. So, uh, what is that? 8 and 98 or 108? Actually, my plan was this year to, to scramble the eggs in the shell before I hard-boiled them. Because if they were scrambled, the kids would eat them. If there, are, there were scrambled eggs inside the shell. You can actually do that. It's a lot of work. I built a little apparatus for it, and I, I did several of them. And I was like, this is going to take me forever to do four dozen eggs, and so I stopped. But it basically involves spinning the egg and back and forth using a, a rubber band spinny thing or a little twirly apparatus and that can uh, break the yolk and you keep doing it and it'll mix it all up inside then you'll have when you peel it you'll have a yellow hard-boiled egg that's scrambled eggs all my kids like scrambled eggs they just don't like you know non scrambled eggs so but I got tired and didn't do it so but a lot of the other people in the family, they like them. So we'll give them around to people. They'll, they'll, some of them will get eaten anyway. Yeah, we do have some extra plaid eggs we don't need. What do you mean? What's, I'm not sure what I could do with them. Do you have, did you say? Each kid still can open 12 eggs, so. Hello, Pasca. That must be Happy Easter. Passover. No, did I just say Easter? Pasca? Pasca. Pasca. Hmm. Potato salad or egg salad for a sandwich. I mean, that's a good idea. I mean, then they would just be the egg salad not getting eaten. <laughs> oh, thank you, Dimitra. I'm a student of Greek. I love Greek. I, usually, I just read the Bible with it, though. Did. Thank you. Uh, Simi Linjin, orange and green. That wasn't a cause of confusion. Thank you. Any advice for dealing with very mean and unkind father members? Oh, I don't know about that. Probably just turn the other cheek and be nice no matter what. That's probably the best advice for any situation like that. It's unfortunate, obviously. It's no fun. Kill them with kindness and make God proud. Oh, those were, I did those a long time ago. Those were ramen eggs.
Nah, robin eggs only do it for me. Oh, thank you, Randy. See your girlfriend on Easter? Oh, I'm sure we will at some point. But it's been most of the time, though, other places. Both, both got places to be. Fill the green one. I guess that's the last of the shower bright crawlers. Hey there, Debbie. That's what I need to set aside. I know I have a little mini bag thing of them here, but I obviously that's not working out so hot. Okay. How many eggs are you feeling? What are we deciding? 100 and Eight. Twelve for each kid. All right, get rid of the boys and the girls' eggs. So that's Solly and Justice. And the girls for the boy eggs, which is Eden. Okay. I could probably put a soda in, the, in that big one too. It could be a whole lunch in there. Ramen, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. A whole survival egg. That'd be super fun. So pop tarts for breakfast, ramen and a pop for lunch, <laughs> ramen and a pop for dinner. Mm. Keep the ideas coming. Oh, thank you, Randy. Hey, James. Thank you. Happy Easter. You know what? I hard boiled the eggs in the oven this year. We've always done them in the oven, but Andrea always put them in a, in a pot of water in the oven. And you know what you do is you just get a muffin tin and you just put an egg in each muffin cup tin. No water. You just put them in there for 325 for 30 minutes. They come out perfect. After that, you have to when they come out, you have to put them immediately into a, a bowl of ice water for 10 minutes to stop them from cooking. I didn't break any. They're all hard boiled all the way through. They're not overdone. They're not underdone. That's now the way I'm going to do it every year. Oh. 
was able to do 48 at a time in our big muffin tin, muffin pans. Definitely gonna try that so easy, so easy. Yeah, it worked great. We've always done them in the oven, but we put a pot of water in the oven and then put it on a low temperature for a long time, but they didn't always get done. Sometimes they were soft still, but this worked really, really good. Yeah, it's hard boiling without water. It's pretty weird. I guess it's called baking them, but I mean, they're hard boiled. Yeah, the survival egg sounds fun now. You guys, you guys give me those ideas. That's true, Lisa. You're doing okay. Oh, I can't get nerds in these. If I, why is it supposed to be for Easter egg things? I'm going to crush them a little bit. Oh well, yeah, if I crush them it works, but that's not going to be very fun. Oh, thank you, Cheeky Matriarch. I love that name. Grandson's being christened. Oh, that's wonderful. Okay, I think the last two sleeves before the golden ones. Okay, I'm gonna go the girls out of the boy eggs. That's Eden. The boy out of girl eggs, which is Justice and Solomon. Okay, and I gotta start crushing these. Thank you, Mr. Lou. Oh yeah. I remember somebody from the Nymo mentioning that. The gold one's going to have some money in them, except the big one where we've been brainstorming what to put in the big one. That, we're here, that's here because of Thomas, who threw it in the cart. So we're thinking about a survival egg, so Pop-Tarts for breakfast to go in there, a Pop and a thing of ramen for lunch. I haven't figured out a dinner that would fit in there. Eggs in the oven. So. But to do the hard-boiled eggs in the oven, you need to get a muffin pin, a muffin pan, like for doing cupcakes, and you put the eggs in one in each cup, and then you just put them in the oven, the preheated oven at 325 for 30 minutes. And right when it hits 30 minutes, you got to take them out and you got to use a spoon and put them inside an ice bath so they stop cooking. Bowl of ice for 10 minutes. 
and they were, it worked out great. Can't say enough good things about it. Oh, instant mac and cheese. I don't have any of that. But a box of mac and cheese would probably fit in there. I bet you a full size box of mac and cheese would fit in there. Doesn't it say that a Bible of man would be believe in Christ and his whole family would be baptized? I mean, there's a, it doesn't say that a man's family necessarily. That happened several times. Uh, but there's also times where, you know what, I'm not even talking about that right now. There is, there is a verse that talks about that. I kind of stay away from that topic because it just makes people feel bad a lot of times. Well, I don't know if I can get the girls' eggs in here. Oh, thank you, Elsa. Keep up for an extra treat. Oh, that would be fun. Yeah, I thought about the leftover candy, too. I'm so gonna sleep tonight. And smashing these boxes isn't exactly fun. Hurts your hands. Ooh, a can of soup. Yeah, tomato soup. Bottle of water so you can make the soup. Although none of my kids would eat it with water. They have to have tomato soup with milk. <laughs> Extra candy goes to you. Parent tax. Yep, they'll enjoy Easter tomorrow. Oh my gosh. Did you hear that? A huge gust of wind. Extra hanging out here. That's the way to do it, cheeky matriarch. Toilet paper in the egg. Oh, that'd be fun. Peeps, two or popcorn kernels, peeps melt and the popcorn pops when you open the pan. Colorful, beautiful popcorn. Oh, that's fun. I put peeps in one one year. I, I could have done that this year. I didn't. Yeah, the storms, are, we just have a lot of wind. We got, a, we got some snow last week, but you know, the city's, you know, probably pretty much 80, 90 miles in any direction. They all got feet of snow, and we just got a skiff. Some will have strong opinions on baptism of babies. Seems it could be biblical. It's more of a family decision for Christ. I understand you don't want to talk about it. Yeah, baptism is something that gets 
people up in arms, and I don't want to make them bad men. I love everybody on this channel. There's plenty of stuff in the Bible on it, and you, you can read about it and do what you think is best. I think that's the best solution for anybody. Ooh, I found a better way to squish those boxes. It's not as painful on the hands. Of course, I only got two left. Pack of popcorn. Ooh, yeah, that'd be fun. it except for the golden ones I'm gonna have to get some more bills I'm not doing two golden eggs for each one but there's two of each in here and then we still have the real gold egg which has always been just a standard egg Five dollar bill for that one. Five dollar bill and the Ferro Rocher. Ouch! I lost my pocket knife a week or so two ago, and I haven't been the same man without it. I gotta look at a couple bills. Be right back. Sorry about that guys, I hate dead space on the camera, but I didn't have my money. These are all ones. Okay, so, ouch, what did I got on my shoe, my sock? Thomas is blue, Thomas, Asher, Judah, Justice, Eden will be sparkly yellow. Eden. Are these green or gold? They look pretty. It's a pretty crappy green. I mean, it's, it's, they have the green. This Can you tell one looks green? It doesn't really look green to me. Barely. Maybe I'll do the sparkly green one for Solly, because that's obviously green, even though it's a girl one. Hmm. Does that look green to you? Yeah, five dollars. That's just the one. That one there. Uh, 
Um, I think I'll just put the sparkly one. Solomon, Sophia, Claudia, Hannah. I can't tell the difference either. So I'm going to give them the green sparkly one. The rest of these are going in a bag for next year or to be thrown away after I forget about them. Those look dark pink. Yeah, but that was kind of the thing is that the girls have a sparkly glitter on them as opposed to the boys, which are solid. So otherwise, you know, we have Asher's purple, Claudia's purple, you know what I mean? So I, that's how I decided to do it that way. Refused by the field, I know, that'd be, that'd be terrible. Wouldn't be too bad because there's not that many empty, so... Oh, I mean for the gold ones? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They want to hide the empty gold eggs, that's for sure. I see. Yes. That would have been so, so sad. Didn't I say Eden? Eden, Solomon. Um, there we go. Eden. Do you hide the kids' eggs? I usually like to hide the gold ones for sure. I, other than that, I kind of ho I'll hide them all. But we have a couple kids that want to spy and see where everybody's hiding them. They have no scruples. Well, if this one won't close, I'm gonna have trouble because there's no tape's not gonna stick to this thing. Or leaving glitter all over the house. There we go. Tired of hearing all the bad in the world. So I encourage my family to enjoy life. Don't look back. Always look ahead. There's always something new to discover every day. Amen, Lisa. That's the truth. Easy to be positive when you're feeling good, though. Sometimes when you're depressed, it's hard to be positive. So 10, 10.41 here, 10.39. 
can't believe it's so early. I usually am at night out, but I'm so exhausted after today. All right, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, plus the big other golden egg. And now we got to do the survival egg. hypnotize me. It's so beautiful. Isn't that just amazing? It's gorgeous. Okay, so let's see what I can get. I'll be right back. soup, a little can of 7-Up, Pop-Tarts, ramen, macaroni and cheese. How incredible the island is, I always encourage her to explore it. Aww. Thank you, Cheeky Matriarch. Can I make your cheesecake this year? No, I did make a trifle with cheesecake pudding in it with the girls. I was really busy today though. Okay, so let's see what all I can get in here. Breakfast for the survival egg, Pop-Tarts. Lunch, ramen noodles, you gotta make with water on your microwave. <laughs> Use your imagination, you can eat them dry. Um, let's see, here's the 7-Up. Let's see, mac and cheese. The water can just be in there, sort of the sit of the pop, huh? More, that's more survival-y, right? And the tomato soup. Did I get the lid on that? It'd be tight. Well, we don't need all of that. That's more meals. Breakfast. I think I'm just going to go like that without the ramen. Hey there, Jan. Yep, the wind chimes are definitely out there. So let's see, the rest of the prize is here candy, leftovers for Krabby Patties, grape ones, grape nerds. Ferro Rochers, I'll oh, want anyway, so I can eat the rest. <laughs> it's all the way together. 
I think it needs a couple of tape just to make sure. There it is, survival leg. Did it. You guys see this Easter grass I got for the Easter their Easter baskets? The Easter basket, I mean they have little buckets they find their eggs in. But they're it's edible Easter grass. This is sour green apple Easter grass. And you've got blueberry and strawberry and rainbow tutti frutti. Pretty cool. I know it's not enough. I'm gonna have one though right now. Little pieces of toffee and chocolate. That was good. It would just be a bummer if this fell all out before we did anything. I got way too much sugar. I feel all gross now. Oh, thank you, Lisa. Yes, she does. I'm extremely lucky. Can you find me spent Easter goodies? I only have four kilos to spill over hundred dollars on the baskets. Yeah, it was like that for me. I went twice. And I had to buy some pants for Justice. He had holes in his knees again. And uh, I bought some other stuff. So I paid it's like 170 when I got most of this stuff. Including the Easter egg dye stuff and uh, cups and all that kind of thing. And then I went again, it was probably like another fifty bucks. So Probably two hundred dollars is what I spent. I'm gonna guess. Oh yeah, no money in the big egg. Oh well, they got enough money in the other eggs. This is a joke egg anyway. I was not gonna do this. I've got gold eggs for each kid, and then one extra gold egg that anybody can find. And then Thomas saw this and was like, "Ooh, ooh, ooh!" And he threw it in the in the cart, and he had to have it. And I was moderately entertained by the idea of me trying to super hide. The gold eggs always hide really hard. I mean, how can you hide this? really hard at a place that's basically a field. So my plan is to bury it and just leave just the top sticking out. So that's the plan. Pretty neat, but I can look at this blue one all day. Man, it's so gorgeous. I've always said, you wrap something in blue foil and I will purchase it. Blue's my favorite color, and then it's all foily, metallic, it's just amazing. Oh, the Ferro Rocher, it's like a bunch of bits of toffee in really soft chocolate. So it's not like a Hershey bar that you chomp into. They can show you. Very flaky with toffee and crunchy. Super good. I shouldn't eat that. Way too much sugar. I already feel like I'm going to die of thirst. I'm out of distilled water. I'm going to get some from downstairs, put it in the fridge. I'm going to have to go slumming it with just filtered water. Ramen and the pop and the blue egg. Oh, <laughs> I could, but we got too many gold eggs as it is. Too many gold eggs. Too many gold eggs. Sunrise breakfast with all that bacon. I had to thaw that out first. I actually was going to get up early and make pancakes with food coloring in different batches. So, like 
red pancake, blue pancake, green pancake, yellow pancake, and alternate them so there's like Easter pancakes. But at this moment, that sounds like the stupidest thing in the world to do because so, I just don't want to do it. But maybe by tomorrow I'll feel that way. Well, I'm not sure. Not toffee, just hazelnuts? What? They're just hazelnuts? Get out of here. Luscious, creamy, chocolatey filling surrounding a whole hazelnut. A whole hazelnut? Are all enveloped in milk chocolate and finely chopped hazelnut. There's a whole hazelnut in there? What's a hazelnut? Do I not know what a hazelnut is? Well, it's, it's yummy. Thank you, Maria. I had no idea. I only have drink spring water. I feel that purified water. Simply hyped up about tap water. That's true. And spring water <laughs> is just water with natural bacteria in it. <laughs> oh, so I only go for distilled water. Pure H2O and nothing else. Eighty-seven percent jelly bean servers. Jelly beans are so good. Tough decision to leave someone with the kids. <laughs> oh, I'm so done. I barely got enough candy though. I guess all I had plenty. I threw it all in that big egg though. I guess I gotta put. Where's that gold egg thing? I think most of the kids haven't seen the giant golden egg, so they're going to be surprised. They, Thomas knows about it. Asher and Judah might have seen me get it. I'm going to put these over in my room so they don't see the giant one. Open the blue egg. And the blue egg is a red egg. And the red egg is nothing. The blue egg is so beautiful. Hot Cheetos mac and cheese. No, it's not for me. I bought it. It sat in the cupboard for months because nobody wanted to eat it. Finally, Justice made it uh, because he likes to eat the hot Cheetos. And it was so nasty. I had a bite of it. It was just not good. Tasted like hot Cheetos, but did not enjoy it. How many layers does the big egg have? Oh, just... Just one layer, thankfully. <laughs> Talk about mini eggs. I need to clean up this mess. That's where I can call the boys and say, Boys, help me clean up this mess. I love having teenagers around. Nest eggs down to one jelly bean in the mill. <laughs> That'd be fun. Yeah, I could put definitely some more stuff in these eggs, but we have enough golden eggs as it is. It used to be just one golden egg for everything, and that was really special. And then uh, a few years ago, I got a golden egg for all the kids. Less special, but then every kid got to have something that was kind of special. Now we've got a golden egg for everybody, Plus a golden egg for everybody to find with money in it. Plus a giant survival golden egg. But I wouldn't need a Krabby Patty for nothing right now. Back. Too much. I'm too sugared up. All right, everybody. Well, I think I'm going to go collapse somewhere after this gets all cleaned up. I certainly appreciate all you guys for all your support. You've been so good to me. And 
all the encouragement and all the compliments. It's super nice and makes me feel good, and I enjoy that because it's not always happiness. It's, it's tough when it's lonely. Nighttime's not fun, but. Anyways, I appreciate you guys very much. Don't forget to like the video. And I will. I got a little vlog about the stuff we did today. Um, I guess I'll have to just put a couple clips of this in. If I didn't get any footage of me doing this. But, got to go put the rolls in the fridge to start proofing. And we'll kind of go from there. Probably not. Oh, yeah, I don't think I'll record tomorrow. It's not, it's not going to be at our house. There's other people there. I don't know how they'll feel about it or not. So... I might bring the the, can, the camera and just film just my kids looking, maybe. I don't know why we put other people's kids in an awkward position, you know. All 